is this? You should be able to hear.
Hi, Margo. It's Lynn. Can you hear me? Hello. Hi. <laughs> hmm. It's so good to see you guys. I miss all of you. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Margo. It's Jill. Hi, Lynn. Is your sound on? No, we just haven't gotten started yet. Okay. Okay, thank you. We're not missing anything, I promise. Got it. We'll get started you. in just a second. Good morning. I'll I'll mute myself. Oh, sounds good. Good morning. Okay, let's get started. It's so good to see some of you, all of you. Some of you I can't see. So if you can join by video, please do so. Just so we can like see each other, be together in our new normal. I think I know most of you, but if I don't know you, my name's Brittany and I am um, I'm quarantined up here in Philadelphia in my office, which is my new normal. Let's, uh, we're going to start in a meditation this morning. So find, if you've got um, a block, great. You can take a seat on that. And if you don't, you can grab a pillow or a blanket. You want to get your hips up above your kneecaps. Good, and um, before we get started, I just want to make one note that if at any point during the next 75 minutes that we have together, I drop out, um, my dear friend Madison, who is also a teacher here in Fishtown, she will jump in. So the joys of living in a city on a rainy day is that the Wi-Fi connection sometimes gets a little shoddy, but I just wanted to make that note before we got started. Okay, close your eyes if it feels comfortable for you, and then and that's not something you feel safe doing, I want you to set your eyes to one single spot, non-moving spot, the very top of your mat or whatever it is that you're practicing on. And bring your hands, your fingertips to touch. Just let them rest in your lap. And put your attention right here on your breath. The natural rhythm of your lungs expanding and contracting. And if at any time during the next few moments that we hear have here in meditation, your mind starts to drift, use the tool of touch, your fingertips here in your lap to bring you right back to the here and the now, the present moment. Just 
put your attention onto the breath as it filters through your nose, the way that your breath feels on your upper lip. Be here, do this. This is your yoga. Start to broaden the breath, allow it to come in for a full count of two. Pause and breathe out. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. And then keep on with this like, four point breath as it becomes a steady metronome for your practice. Flutter your eyes open, take child's pose. Move your knees to the outer edges of your mat. Keep your eyes open, wake up. Press your hands into the floor. And firmly into the ground beneath of you. Press down, lift your forearms up away from the ground, bring action to your forearms, move your shoulder blades onto your back. And press the pads of your fingers down into the floor. There is no place else you need to be other than right here. Like practicing at home is its own beast. If there's distractions, seemingly distractions from other humans to pets, to cell phones, to Apple watches. Yeah, just be here. Give yourself the gift of the moment. Roll your forehead to the right and to the left on the floor. Notice if you lost action in your arms, press down into your hands, lift your Forearms up, lift your elbows up. Take a deep breath in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. And soften behind your knees and micro bend your knees. And maybe it's more than a micro bend. But what you're looking for, it's more important here that you have a flat neutral back to your pelvis than it is that your feet are on the floor, right? Or that your legs are straight. So lift your tailbone to the ceiling. Set your drishti or your focal point, your unwavering focal point right between your feet. Lift your right leg up to hips height. Walk your hands back to frame your foot, standing split. Good, press down through the four corners of your standing foot. Lift your toes away from the ground. Plug the top hip socket. So notice that it's starting to disintegrate. 
pull the top of the femur bone, the top of your thigh, back into your pelvis. Good, flex your top foot. Take downward facing dog. Lift your left foot up to hips height. Rotate your top pinky toe down towards the floor. Mm -hmm. Take standing split on the left side. Downward facing dog. Ragdoll, step your feet to the top edge of your mat. Bring your feet, so move them apart so their hips width distance apart. Good, and then soften again behind your knees. Let your chest drop down towards your thighs. Take opposite hand, opposite elbow. Yeah, grab your elbows, Max. Good. Drop your head, everyone. Open your eyes if they're shut. And be still. Be still. Give yourself the pause. And inside of the pause, becomes the most expansive version of you. Drop your hands to the floor. Bring your feet together so they touch. Drop your head, wherever you're breathing, breathe out, breathe out. Good, together, halfway lift, inhale, breathe in, pause. Forward fold, drop your head, reach up, take extended Tadasana, extended mountain pose, reach your hands to the ceiling. Spread your fingers wide, move your hands to your heart. Good, keep your eyes open, shift your drishti to your pinky finger, and we'll start our practice with three ohms. Take a breath in, open your mouth, take a breath out, ha! Three ohms. Oh. Oh. Reach up, breathe in, take extended mountain pose. Forward fold, breathe out, pause. Halfway lift, press the crown of your head forward. High plank. You look at the top of your mat. So if you're looking at your feet, you're beginning to crunch your neck down. And instead, look forward so that the whole top of your spine up to your neck becomes neutralized. Mm -hmm. Let the thoracic spine drop down towards the chest. Take a breath in. Low plank. Upward facing dog. 
Press your feet into the floor, lift your thighs up, downward facing dog. Good, five breaths. That four point breath, let it ring true right here. Two more, keep your eyes set between your feet. One more, inhale. Exhale, look forward on empty, step your feet to your hands. Halfway lift, take a breath in. Forward fold, breathe out. Reach your hands to the ceiling, inhale. Forward fold. Halfway lift, press your hands into your shin bones to extend the length of your back. Chaturanga, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, pause. Downward facing dog, exhale. Good, micro bend your elbow. Some of you are locked out. I can see it from Philadelphia. Press your hands into the floor, the pads of your fingers, your whole entire palm. Good, take a breath in, I'm still here. <laughs> Breathe out, look forward, step to your hands. Halfway lift, wrap your shoulder blades around your back. Good, forward fold. Extended mountain pose, press your feet into the floor, lift your toes up. Lift your toes up, mm -hmm. forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, high to low plank, pause. Yes, upward facing dog, downward facing dog pose. Five breaths. Two more. Lift your tailbone towards the ceiling, inhale. Breathe out, look past your hands, step or float to the top edge of your space. Halfway lift, press your hands against your shin bones. Good, fold, extended mountain pose. Take your outer shin bones, squeeze them in towards center. Forward fold. Halfway lift, set your drishti at the top of your mat, your focal point. Chaturanga, keep your drishti locked in. Upward facing dog, look forward, look forward. Some of you are dropping your whole neck back. Look forward, good, now press down through your hands. Stay here with me, stay here, we're an up dog. Yeah, now press down through the tops of your feet and your hands, pull up into your belly, downward facing dog. Put your attention onto the physical foundation of the pose, your feet, your hands, your core. And as you do that, you'll start to generate heat in the body. Call it tapas, the burning away of resistance through your muscles, through your mind, take a breath in. Breathe out, look forward, step or hop to your hands. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose, Utkatasana. Bring your feet so that they're at least hips width distance apart, right? Maybe even all the way together. Set your second toe so it faces 12 o'clock.
set your eyes. And drishti is the very first pillar of Baptist yoga. It's this gives way for breath. Keep looking. Like even if you've got like stuff going on, people walking all over your mat, little humans. Yeah, just keep looking. Take a deep breath in, fold in half, halfway lift, chaturanga, high to low plank, upward facing dog, pause, downward facing dog pose. On empty, step your right foot forward, warrior one. So your right foot moves to your right thumb, Spiral your back foot flat to the floor. Back foot stays flat to the floor. Mm -hmm. Bend your front knee. Move your front knee up over your front ankle. Reach your hands to the ceiling. Warrior one, warrior one. Be here. Mm -hmm. Rotate your pinky fingers so they face forward. Yeah, spread your fingers really wide. Activate the bandhas and the hands, the core locks right here. Breathe in, chaturanga. Put your hands on the floor, step your front foot back. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, pause. No chaturanga, mm -hmm. upward facing dog. Downward facing dog pose, left side, warrior one. Your back foot stays towards the back of the mat. Step your left foot forward. Mm -hmm. Set your front foot to face 12 o'clock, reach your hands to the ceiling. Lift your toes away from the mat. Yeah, press down firmly through the four corners of your feet. And then use the earth's rebounding energy. The more that you press down, the more energy you'll have to lift up. Lift the pit of your belly up and back. Yeah, engage your low core, upper core. Reach your hands to the ceiling. Let your arms shake. Tapas is being created by you. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog pose. Set your eyes, turn your breath on, tap into your feet, your hands, your core. Yeah, physical foundation. Take three breaths. Good, one more full breath in. Breathe out, look forward, step or hop to your hands, feet to your hands, good. Halfway lift, forward fold. Halfway lift again, draw your shoulder blades around your back. Yeah, like you mean it, mm-hmm, forward fold. Chair pose. Yeah, bend your knees, bring your feet together. Bring your feet together and mm -hmm. listen. Lift your toes up and shift your weight back into the four corners of your feet. So if you were to look down, you should be able to see your toes. Good, set your eyes, turn your breath on. And hold yourself accountable for creating the breath. Yeah, like you wake your whole house up with ujjayi. Good. 
forward fold. Halfway lift, extend the crown of your head forward, press your tailbone back. Chaturanga, high to low plank. Breathe out, pause at the bottom. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Step your right foot forward. Move your right knee out towards your front pinky toe. Good, Beth, breathe in. Breathe out. One more, inhale, inhale. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Move your front knee over your front ankle. Yes. Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog pose. Keep your lips sealed. Notice if you're letting some of your, your own created heat out by breathing out of your mouth. Keep the heat in, keep the tapas in. Lift the tip of your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Yeah, if at any point during the practice you feel like you just like something's amiss, take a forward fold, not a, not a child's pose. Or a down dog, good, look forward. Step or hop forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, one breath, bend your knees, reach your hands to the ceiling. Bow forward. We're gonna do it again, halfway lift. Some of you missed it. Don't miss it, forward fold. Take chair pose, Utkatasana, pull your upper arms back. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, step or jump back. Pause, yes, upward facing dog. Draw your chest through your upper arm bones. Downward facing dog, tailbone to the sky. Right foot, warrior one. Breathe in, pause, find the fullest expression of the pose right here. Chaturanga, start the breath out. All the way to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Breathe in, reach up, press your feet into the floor, pause. Chaturanga. Hold, hold, don't miss it. Upward facing dog, yes, yeah, so good. Downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out, look forward, step or hop to your hands. Halfway lift, forward fold, feet together, chair pose, fold. Halfway lift, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right side, warrior one. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing, lift your eyes, downward facing dog, left side, warrior one, go. Chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Shift your drishti forward, step or hop. Halfway lift, lift your toes up. Forward fold, chair pose. Breathe in, find the peak of the pose. Fold, exhale. Halfway lift, press your hands against your shin bones. 
chaturanga. Spread your fingers wide, press your hands down into the floor, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, right side steps, warrior one. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing dog, left side, warrior one. Step forward, breathe in, hold the breath. Chaturanga, exhale, exhale, pause. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Good morning, mm-hmm, so good. Lift your right foot to the ceiling. Good, to hips height, bend your knee, bend your top knee. Open your hip up. Yeah, you can stay right here or flip your dog. Take your top foot to the floor behind you. Everyone that's in flip dog, look at your feet right now. Look at your feet and then reset them to 12 o'clock. If, if I can see your eyes, then your toes are not being looked at. <laughs> yeah, look at them. Be in the observation of just like the way that your feet naturally land. And then disrupt that default and put in true north. High plank. Step your feet together. Side plank. High plank. We're having technical difficulties. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a big breath in through your nose. Out through your nose. Lift your left leg high. And really press through your left heel. And turn your left pinky toe down towards your mat. Keep pressing your hands down and forward. Now bend your top knee. Pull your heel towards your left butt cheek. Yeah, we're just bending our knee right now, not stacking open. Now find that. Now bend and stack, pull open. Stay here, flip your dog. And then just like we did on the right side, Take a look at your toes, turn them 12 o'clock. Press down into all four corners. Now press your hips up towards the ceiling, open up. And breathe here. Last breath. Come back over, high plank. Pull your feet to the center of your mat. Now side plank, left side. Left shoulder stacked right on top of your left wrist and then pull up from your right middle finger. And then pull the crown of your head back in line with the rest of your body. So in line with your spine, feel that. High plank. Exhale, low plank. Upward facing dog, pull through. Downward facing dog. Crescent lunge right side. And 
then take a second, really set up your feet here. So you might need to wiggle your left toes back a little bit more so that your heel can stack right on top of the ball of your foot. Now active fingers, show me your hair for your fingers. Like, can you hear me wiggle them? Find your dad's fingers. Do we know what that means? Yes. Now pull your upper arm bones back. Three more breaths. And know that you're okay right here, you're good. Two more. Last one, fill up, reach high. Hands to heart center, press your thumb knuckles into your breastbone. Now twist to the right. And then use your left elbow and press it hard into your right knee. And then press your right knee towards your right pinky toe. Finding that Sirasuka balance of effort and ease here. Now open your arms up, fullest expression. And then Brittany is live back online. So she's gonna take over now. Brittany, it's all you. Thank you, stay here, stay in the pose. Nothing like a co-created class. It takes a village, you guys. Warrior two. Bend your front knee, press your feet into the floor. So the action here, draw, put your attention on your shin bones and draw both of your shin bones in towards the center of your mat. Like energetically, you feel the action of drawing in toward midline. Extended side angle. you have a block, you can use it on the outside of your front foot. If you don't, you can grab whatever you've got handy. You are resourceful people. Use a pillow, use a blanket, use a water bottle. Take a bind, a half bind, half bind with your top arm. Reach your top arm behind you. Reach your top arm behind you so that you start to reach your fingertips toward just a half bind today. Just stay with the half bind, stay with me. Mm -hmm. Good. Warrior two. Look at your front hand. Take a deep breath and pull your front ribs in towards center. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog pose. Left side, crescent lunge. Good, do this, interlace your thumbs, interlace them. Good, and then reach your hands, you drop them, reach them back up above your head. Pull the thumbs apart, draw the elbows apart. Lift your shoulders up to your ears, take them straight back. Notice if you started to puff your chest out. Draw your, your front ribs in toward center. Good, take a breath in. Drop your hands, bring them to your heart center. Press your thumb knuckles into your breastbone. Breathe in, extend up to the crown of your head. Good, then twist the left side. Press your top hand down into your bottom hand. Right? The more you press down, the more your chest will lift away from your front thigh. Warrior two.
lift the front of your pelvis up towards your face. Some of you have your, um, like your bum stuck out. Yeah, neutralize your pelvis by lifting the top of the pelvis up towards your face as the tip of your tailbone shifts down towards the floor. Extended side angle. Take a half bind with your top hand. Reach your top hand behind your back. Then you start to reach your fingertips towards the, the like right where your hip and your torso meet. And if it doesn't reach there, that, that's fine. Right, but take the half bind so you can create more opening in your top shoulder. Drop what you think you know about your practice and just be present right here with this breath. Take the half bind, warrior two. Spread your fingers apart. Good, Jill, breathe in. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog pose. Take a breath in, breathe out, step or float to the top edge of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Chair pose. Take the time to set the pose up starting with the feet. Bring your feet together. And press the four corners of your feet down. Lift your toes up. Move your hands to your heart center. Press your palms together and twist to the right side. Hook your left elbow on the outside of your right knee or you can stay vertical and take the twist vertically. Just twist your upper chest towards the back of your space, good. Chair pose, keep your knees bent, take chair pose. Good, take a breath, hands to your heart, breathe out. Inhale here, exhale, twist. Three breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. Chair pose. Chair pose, Shanice, bend your knees. Yes, I see you. That's how much I love you. Okay, forward fold. Halfway lift. Yogi toe lock. Split your feet. Take them at least hip foot distance apart, maybe even wider. Take your peace fingers, your pointer finger and your middle finger, hook them around your big toes. Face your palms, yeah, bend your knees as much as you need to. So hips with distance, you guys, is like, start with one fist in between the inner arches of your feet. Start there. One fist in between the inner arches of your feet. Some of you have your legs very wide. And then bend your knees until you can touch your toes. Just bend your knees, that's the trick. Drop your head. Take gorilla pose. Yeah, or you can stay right here in yogi toe lock and if you have the accessibility, pick up your feet, step on your palms.
Unhook your hands. Place your hands on the floor. Place your hands on the floor. Keep your bum to the ceiling. High knee up. Good. Now set your gaze on the top edge of your mat. Just listen. Bend your elbows towards the back of your mat. If you know where, like, if you are going into crow, go there. If you're unfamiliar with crow, follow along with the sound of my voice. Bend your elbows towards the back edge of your mat and press your knees up to your triceps, your upper arm bones. Your upper arm bones. So bend your, bend your elbows. Bend your elbows towards the back of your mat. Good. Keep your ass up. For three, two, one, take chaturanga. Up dog to down dog. Take a breath in. Okay, open your mouth, breathe out. Huh. Look forward, step or hop to your hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold, extended mountain pose, reach up, reach up. Eagle pose on the right side. Wrap your right arm, wrap your right arm underneath of your left arm. If your shoulders are tight, right, or if you're working with a shoulder injury, I invite you to take on either genie arms or more of a, a bear hug. Extended mountain pose, reach up. Left side, eagle pose. Move on the exhalation. So as you take your next breath in, you're in the pose. Yeah, get essential right here. The time is now. Extended mountain pose, reach up. Right side, eagle pose. Wrap your right arm underneath your left arm. Wrap your right leg on top of your left leg. Bend your standing knee. Good, take a breath in. Humble your eagle, drop your elbows to a hover above your front knee. Pull the pit of your belly in. You're here, as we transition, you'll move always from your midline and your core. Keep your arms in the binds. Send your top foot back. Yeah, just like that. Keep your arms bound. Move into half moon. I yeah, just see what happens. Be in play. Keep the arms bound. Even if you fall out, be in play. What can the play teach you? What can getting messy teach you? Letting it all fall apart. Okay, forward fold, good. Halfway lift, forward fold. Extended mountain pose. Eagle on the left side. Eagle pose, left side. Left arm under, left leg over. Humble your eagle, move your elbows to a hover, to a hover right above your knee. Pull your belly into your back. Good, lift your shoulder or your elbows up in line with your shoulders, create space. Take your top leg back, keep the arms bound. Flex your top toes towards your face. Good, and then open up for a bound half moon pose. Try it. Forward fold, good. Halfway lift. Bow forward, rise up, extended mountain pose, reach tall, maybe even go back, bend your elbows, drop your head back, look up. Tree pose on the right side. 
press the inside of your foot either into your um your left calf or your standing leg calf or your standing leg thigh or maybe even the ankle of your standing leg anywhere other than your knee some of you just need to drop the foot up or drop the foot up i don't know how to do that drop your foot down or bring your foot up you're pressing it against the knee joint the knee isn't created to go left and right that way and then switch to the other side. Extended mountain pose, press your feet into the floor. Good, get even taller. Lift the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog pose. Breathe in, breathe out, warrior one on the right side. Warrior two. Straighten your front leg, reach your front hand forward. So hinge from the hips. Press your pelvis towards the back of your mat. Take triangle pose. Drop your front hand. You can, again, use a block. You want to get your hand to the ground or something that resembles the ground. So a block or a water bottle, a pillow, a blanket. Yeah, a meditation pillow. Grab that. Books are a great option, too. It's Micro bends, right? So you can't be seen, but it can be felt. Both your front knee and your back knee. Look up to your top hand, set your drishti on your top thumbnail. Take a breath in. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Warrior one on the left side. Warrior two. Strain your front leg. Reach forward until you can't reach forward anymore. So you want to lengthen from your hips to your armpits before you drop your hand. Good, and once you've got the most length, move your hand, your front hand to the floor. Go for the outside of your front leg. Yeah, so going for the outside of the front leg just reduces the amount of collapsation in the chest. Good. Take two more breaths here. Press your feet into the floor. Lift your toes. Inhale. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog pose. High plank. High plank. Good. Micro bend the elbows here. Soften. Move your thoracic spine in toward your chest. Take a breath in. Come down to the floor. Breathe out. All the way down. Okay, locust pose. Lift, lift up. Reach your hands down by your sides. Lift your chest away from the ground. Lift your thighs up.
release the pose. Take a reset breath. Inhale, inhale, pause. Exhale, lift up locust pose number two. This time, if you have a bind available to you, interlace your fingers at your low back. Press your fist towards your back heels. Good, lift up another inch. Take the fullest expression of the pose. Release. Upward facing dog, take your hands, place your thumbs at your lowest ribs. Okay, come down to the floor. Everyone come down to the floor, chest to the ground. Put your hands, some of you need to move your, hand, your thumbs back even another inch. Yeah, and then move your hands to the outer edges of your mat. So you have room when you press down and lift up for your chest to move through your upper arms. Okay, upward facing dog, do that now. Take your shoulders back, pull your chin in towards your chest, and then lift your eyes to the ceiling. Downward facing dog. Bridge pose. Don't waste any time, go up. Press your feet into the floor. Take a breath in, come down, drop your hips to the floor. Take wheel pose. Yeah, if wheel isn't in your practice, move into bridge. Come down to the ground. All the way down, all the way down. Good, move, drop your knees left and right. And then bridge pose or wheel pose. If you're moving into wheel, Take your hands to the outer edges of your mat. So maybe your pinky fingers are to the outer edges. Create space in your sh shoulders. Pull your chin to your chest, lower down to the ground. Drop your knees left and right. Lift back up, number three, wheel pose. Don't check out now, even like emotionally, physically. Don't decide to leave the Zoom call because it's wheel pose. Do we all? Okay, come down halfway. Drop your knees left and right. Go back up, wheel pose number four, lift. Good, draw your chest towards the back of your mat. Press into your feet, breathe in. Come down to the ground. Lift up, wheel pose five, two more. Tuck your chin to your chest, lower down. And then right away, go back up, number six. Wheel pose six. If you did one through five, tell yourself yes, and then go back up. Mm -hmm. For three, for two, for one, Supta Konasana. Come down to the ground, press your feet together, and drop your knees to the either edges of your mat. Pull your heels two inches closer to your tailbone. Hug your knees to your chest. Take your feet to the ceiling, feet to the ceiling. Move your hands and then um, interlace them behind your head. Or I like to cut my ears so I'm not like tempted to pull on my neck. It's, it's something that you guys can try on here at home. Flex your, look at your feet before we even go anywhere. Look at your feet, draw your toes down towards your face. Press your heels towards the ceiling. Good, from here, pulse up for 10. Pulse up for nine, for eight, seven, elbows wide, five, four, good, Michelle, three, two, one, drop your right foot to a hiver above the floor, pulse up for 10, nine, pulse for 
eight, seven, six, press your low back into the ground, three, two, one, switch your feet, drop your left foot to a hover, flex your toes down towards your face, pulse up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, one, both feet to the ceiling, last 10, go, go, eight, seven, flex your toes towards your face, five, four, last three, two, one, take boat pose, sit up, take boat, And then if you need some support, you can take your peace fingers and hook them back around your, right around your kneecap. Good, draw your chest up towards the ceiling. Take your shoulders up and back. Take a breath in, breath out. Look at your two big toes. Spread your toes wide. Press through the four corners of your feet. Stay here and breathe. We're not going anywhere. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stay here. One more breath. Inhale. All the way down to the floor. Reach your hands up above your head. Point your toes to the front of your mat. Hug your knees to your chest. Take a big squeeze in. Draw your nose to your kneecaps. And rock and roll three times, up and down the length of your mat, find downward facing dog. Half pigeon on the right side. Draw your right kneecap towards your right thumb. And if you've got a block, I like to, I use, I've used two, and I like to place it underneath of my left hip and underneath of my chest. Tuck your back toes under. And if, good, yeah, 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 good. Tuck your back toes under. And then press through the ball of your back toe to move your femur bone, the top of your femur bone, back into your pelvic bowl. And be still. Be still. Drop your chest to the floor, to a block, to a pillow to a blanket, whatever you are using, and then be still. How can you create balanced action right here in the stillness? equal fire, equal effort and ease. And we're in this period of the in-between where the pause is necessary and it feels really fiery, at least over here for me. Inside of that is tapas and it's being at a cause for stripping away all of the, my own attachments my attachments to where it is I practice yoga, my attachments to like, being physically with each and every single one of you, the need that it needs to look a certain way, that there's a burning away that's currently happening in the pause. Switch to the other side.
find the pose and then be in the pose, be present in the pose. Be still inside of the pause and allow the fire or the rigor of this practice to burn away resistance so that you can get to the miracle of the now. Double pigeon. Yes, stack your right shin bone on top of your left shin bone. And if you have a block, you can place it underneath of a thigh. And if your hamstrings or your hip flexors are very tight, you can extend the bottom leg forward towards the front edge of your mat. Be essential with the movements that you take to get from point A to point B. Good, and switch the other side. Essentially, take double pigeon on the other side. Set your eyes on one non-moving thing, one non-moving object. Drop the fidgets, just be here. Frog pose. Take the length of your mat, move your knees as wide as you possibly can. You're looking for a right angle, so you're from your calf muscle to the back of your thigh. And then your torso to the top of your femur bone. You can use a block to drop to your chest. Whatever the pose looks like, be still. Be in deep listening of what's available to you right here. Seated single leg extension. Extend your right leg towards the front of your mat. And then draw your left foot into your right thigh. Reach your hands to the ceiling. Lift up out of your pelvic bowl to get long through the side body and then hinge forward. Switch to the other side. Extend your left leg. Reach up, get long through the side body, hinge forward. Flex your toes towards your face. And extend both feet to the front of the mat. Remove any flesh you've got between your sit bones and your floor. Again, reach up, pull your belly in from your hips, hinge forward. Reach for the pinky side edges of both of your feet. Bend your knees. If your hands don't touch your feet, draw, just bend your knees to give some freedom to your hamstrings. Take tabletop, place your hands to the outer corners of your mat, press down, lift up. Move your feet so their hips distance apart and your fingers face the front of your mat. 
Good, press your feet down more, Tess. Lift your hips up. Hips up, good. Breathe in. Come down to the floor. Take an inversion of your choice. You have waterfall available. You can take your block or whatever you're using as a block, place it under your hips, get your feet to the ceiling. Shoulder stand is an option. You have a wall close by you. You can take legs up the wall or work on a classical headstand. If you're taking waterfall, take something and place it underneath of your hips, underneath of your pelvis. Yeah, that's great. Pillow, lift your feet up above. And then you want your hips to be on whatever object is there to support you. If you're in shoulder stand, drop your feet to the floor above your head for plow pose. If you're in waterfall, stay exactly where you are. From plow pose, take deaf man's pose, drop your knees to your ears or to your temples. If you're in classical headstand, move to child's pose, please. Roll down to the mat slowly with intention. Hug your left knee into your chest. Hug your left knee into your chest. Drop it over, supine twist. Drop it over your body. You can grab a block. So you want both of your shoulder blades to be rooted into the floor. If it's starting to lift, if your grounded shoulder is starting to lift, bring your knees up and you can place a block right underneath of the, of their left knee. Right, the twist comes from the upper body, not from your legs here. Set your eyes, open your ears, hear what you hear, be in the now. And switch to the other side. Supta Baddha Konasana. Press the bottoms of your feet together. Place a hand on your heart and a hand on your abdomen. And if it feels comfortable, let your eyes shut. Take a deep breath in. Shavasana, straighten your legs. Take up as much space as possible. Move your ankles to the outer corners of your mats. Drop your tongue from the roof of your mouth to the inside of your bottom teeth and close your eyes. The most important pause is right here. Be still, be still. Everything you've done has gotten you to right now.
with your eyes closed or soft, roll onto your right side to a fetal position. Press yourself up to a tall seat. Move your hands to your heart center with your eyes closing, your drishti, you're looking inward. Sit up tall, powerfully. Take a breath in. Open your mouth, sigh out. One arm. Oh. Lift your thumbs up to the center of your forehead, your eye of intuition. And together we bow in recognition of ourselves and of everyone on this call and say namaste. And then acknowledge yourself. You can take yourself off mute so we can like hear you clap. So good to be with all of you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are working, just a quick announcement, we're working on an extended schedule um, for the next week. So keep an eye out on your email every single day. We'll keep you updated. And if you have any problems booking classes, let us know. We'll see Thank you back here tomorrow. Thank have you. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you all. Love you. Love you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye, Kim. Hey, Lenny. Thanks, Brett. Thanks, Madison. Thanks for your help. Thank you. Bye.